It's a fairly young company. We launched two and a half years ago. Um, we're Boston-based, and what we do is we convert aerial data into engineering drawings. Great. So, can you kind of walk me through the process, what that actually looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, companies around the world gather all kinds of aerial data for all purposes. But really, they don't do much with it. Um, mostly it's for marketing purposes, pretty pictures, maybe for construction monitoring. Um, but we essentially saw an opening to use novel machine learning and AI technologies to automate some of the survey process and really you know, generate very accurate engineering base maps from essentially UAV data for companies around the world. We've been working on this for about two years now and last October we actually launched our web application that automatically analyzes aerial data for companies around the world. So what's the biggest disconnect there? You know, obviously all these companies would love to do serious work with drones. Why aren't they able to do it? Yeah, look, I mean, drones have been very new to the profession of, of, of surveying and, and engineering. Um, it started really picking up two and, two and a half years ago, actually, when we started. That's the question we ask, you know? It was a time you opened TechCrunch and drones were going to solve mm -hmm. the whole world, right? Um, but really 90% of our clients um, hadn't either used them at all or they really you know, couldn't use the results yet. Um, and, and there was two main, main problems with it. Um, one was really that uh, the data sets were so heavy and complex, they didn't have computers to open them and they needed to work with the data. Um, the second one was now, you know, when they actually did work with the data and they were able to open them, they had to do, put a lot of manual analytics and manual work inside of the data sets to interpret them. So now, you know, instead of going, spending time in the field, they would be, well, be spending time on the computer. Um, doing the same kind of manual work. So it didn't really fit the purpose. Um, there was a disconnect between you know, what the hardware and technology could, could essentially provide to what companies were able to leverage at the time. And that's the gap we're trying to fill. So what, what sort of data are you collecting and, and, and analyzing? And what does it actually look like for the end user? Yeah, so Airworks doesn't collect any data ourselves. Our clients essentially upload aerial data sets to our web application. And the two files that we need is, is a high resolution image ultimately. You know, it's a, about half an inch per pixel, so a very, very high resolution data set. And a point cloud, which is kind of a 3D model of the world. It's very nice to look at, very pretty, really, but uh, mm -hmm. the engineers use it and take it in the trash, right? What they actually need is engineering models in, in their CAD systems so they can perform calculations and kind of conceptualize how the future is going to look like. And that's what we help them. We analyze those two data sets. Um, run a bunch of algorithms and basically you know, try to make sense of those data sets to tell the engineers um, what they actually need to know. Um, you can imagine you know, we, take a, we take a data set of 100 million data points and we break it down to maybe 500. Mm -hmm. And the application is out there in the world right now, people are actually using this? Yeah, that's correct. We launched our software in October 2019, so very recently. Um, and since then, we've been, I've just looked at the data this weekend, we've had uh, data from 28 U.S. states uh, processed in our application in, what, four months, three, three, four months we've been out there. Um, so there's definitely a big, big problem and companies are looking for a solution. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks.